these guys are also having a really nice and lazy Sunday. Good morning guys, this vlog starts off quite a bit later than usually, it's already 11.30. But I just came back six hours ago from this crazy German techno club. It was a whole lot of fun. Now, first of all, breakfast. Today, really quick and healthy, just banana. Okay, just banana was a bit boring. I covered the banana with pancake dough. All done. I think today will be a quite lazy Sunday. Just taking care of a couple of emails. And first of all, let's check how many plays my Dancing With Our Hearts track has. It was released two days ago and the numbers from the first day should be available. The track has made astonishing 12,108 plays just within the first day, just on Spotify. This is a really good sign, all of the promotion is working just perfectly. But there are also bad news, I still have the old iPhone, the new one didn't show up in the mail. And I just got an email saying that it will be delayed two to three more weeks. So, waiting. So since this is going to be probably a very lazy Sunday, I promised Vanessa to spend as much time as possible with her. I will do the next edition of Track Submits. First track is by Eric Maus. He is a US producer and DJ. He has been making music for eight years and began producing three years ago. And this is his first release. It's called New Beginnings and is a free download on SoundCloud. Let's just listen to it really quick. So a really nice track, I like the arrangement, it's not the most typical arrangement but it still works great. I like the pad sounds within the break, I also like the vibe this track is going for, it's very atmospheric, hypnotic and a bit trancy. But of course there are also things that could be improved, first of all I would lower the sub bass by a bit, maybe 1 or 2 dBs, it's a bit overwhelming. I would also consider changing the sound of the main synth, it sounds a bit boring and plain. Or maybe just adding another synth on top to make it more interesting, adding delay, reverb, a bit of bit crushing maybe or distortion. Also playing in variations in this main melody would make it more interesting at the end of every 8 to 16 bars just to have something new to listen to. I've listened again to the track in the intro and outro, you can hear that the clap reverb is a bit too long. It is actually so long that it goes on until the next clap. So try to shorten it so that it stops when the next kick is hitting. This will sound a lot cleaner and give you a bit of this pumping, sucking noise that the reverb ends right when the kick hits. You could also try and just sidechain the reverb to get this effect. Before doing the next track, I promised Vanessa to vacuum clean the entire apartment since actually so long I don't really remember, so it's about time. I actually like vacuum cleaning, but there's still so much other stuff I have to take care of that I honestly just don't have the time to. Okay, all done. Next task is outside. These are my jalapenos and chilies and it's about time to harvest them. They already turned from green to orange and red. And usually you eat them when they are green. I think the big paprika will leave. It will still grow maybe. And these ones are probably dying. I didn't water them properly. 
You know, whenever it comes to work-related things, I do them as quick and best as possible. But when it comes to these smaller private things everybody has to take care of, I usually try to ignore them as long as possible. But today is one of these days where I have to catch up with all of them. But first, let's do the next track. Okay, this track I can't play to you, unfortunately. It's an edit of one of Kevin Harris's songs. This track or this edit is by Aziz. He's from Dubai. He started six to seven months ago. It sounds quite all right for just having started half a year ago. One thing that will help you a lot is lowering the kick. It's way too loud, like four or five dB is too loud. So lower it and you will have a lot more dynamic in your track. The next one is also an edit. I can't play it to you, so I will just skip it. I'm again not lucky this time the track is just not anymore available on SoundCloud. So let's try out the next one. The next one is also an edit. Okay, this one is also a remix. Vanessa just called me, she needs a bit of help. Okay, I went now through five more tracks. All of them were remixes and edits and it's even hard to call them edits because they were just tracks from other people and these people put a kick underneath and called it blah 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 remix blah 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 edit and that's not an edit that's not a remix it's just a cheap rip off to release on soundcloud get more followers or whatever i mean i can understand that people do an edit it's a good way to get some attention and if you make a good edit that takes the track to another place or improves it by quite a lot that's totally fine for me, but the five edits I've just listened to are all very, very simple and boring and really bad. Basically, they just took the original track, put a kick underneath and called it their own. I think I would just abort this edition of track submits. I don't want to listen to these cheap edits. SoundCloud is already full with them. I don't even get why some of them get so many plays. They're just really uncreative and boring. I don't need that. I will now go out with Vanessa and have a bit of fun outside. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, so let's go. Now 5.30 and we're for the first time outside today. As I said, it's one of these lazy Sundays. We both had to work a lot and Vanessa had a lot of cleaning to take care of today. So she deserved it more than me. <laughs> Vanessa, Vanessa's already <laughs> smiling because we're buying snacks. Vanessa knows what's best. Zwei von der 13. Zwei von der 14, bitte. Look at this happy girl. It's a really beautiful day. Vanessa has her snacks. I'm also getting some, and we're enjoying the view in this really nice park. We're done enjoying the view, we're also done with the snacks, so time to go, huh? Yeah. Quick change of plans, Vanessa wants to do a full circle around the park, but it's not too big, um, it's a really small it's park, tiny. yes. All done with the lazy Sunday, getting back to work, and before that let's try and see if I can find another track for the track submits. That's actually a nice one, it saves my day, it's from Zandero, or however you pronounce it, it's called My Love. Thanks for this great track submit, it sounds really amazing. I love the break part with the vocals and the piano and also the drop part that is a bit more clubby. The track sounds already finished, polished, everything is there that you need. I just have a couple of mixing concerns. First of all, also with this track, I would try to pitch down the kick by maybe one to three semitones to make it a bit more deeper, get a bit more punch and separate it from the bass. But the biggest problem that I see and really would improve the track by a lot is separating the piano from the vocals. 
both of them are almost always playing at the same time and you really need to filter the piano down just cut away the high frequencies maybe to 800 hertz or even lower you have to listen to it with the vocals to give the vocals a bit more room also the piano is throughout the track a little bit too loud and the vocals a little bit too quiet so getting the balance between these two elements right would improve the track the most i think but other than that a really great track that definitely deserves to be released I will put both of the tracks down below in the description where you can listen to the full versions. So please don't get me wrong on this remix edit situation. I just had way too many tracks today that just added one simple element to an already existing track and I think it's pretty pointless to give feedback to something like that. So if you have made a track and you want to get some feedback just send it in. Down below in the description is also the email address. I will listen to the track and give you feedback, but please no more Rihanna tracks with a kick underneath. It's pretty much pointless. I don't need to give Rihanna a feedback. Her tracks are usually perfect. For me, it's back to working on the falling track for the rest of the night. I want to see if I can change a bit in the arrangement and getting closer to finishing off the track. <laughs> Vanessa shows signs of a very hard addiction. <laughs> to candy? Yes. Wow.